Good morning, and thank you very much for joining us. I am Yori Folaring, and with me this morning is um, Ahmed Dada Abbas. He's a lawyer and public affairs analyst. But with a name like that, I, I had to catch myself. I almost, I almost had to add Al Haji Ahmed Dada Abbas. It just works. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning. And thank sir. you very, very much Good for morning. coming. Good morning, sir. Uh, let, let's look at, um, you know, mm -hmm. improvements in society. And I wonder if you consider this one of the impending improvements, talking about electronic, electronic voting. Because the Senate has begun again, uh, sort of recommence the whole uh, object of electronic voting. As you recall, the last Senate, the Senate just before this one, head by, headed up by um, Senator Bukola Saraki, had actually mm -hmm. sent the bill to the president, but he had declined assent, explaining that um, in this electoral cycle, it was too late in the day and it might be confusing. So he was withholding his assent. But now it started again. So my question is, first of all, is that a good thing? The, the whole concept of idea of electronic voting, is that a good thing with us in Nigeria Everything considered, education, electricity, and all of that. Thank, thank you, sir. I think as a student of Nigerian history, uh, uh, interrogating the conversation that has been going on over the years, you discover that um, I think that topic has been in the front burner for quite some time. Um, people believe the world is going digital. Mm. And we shouldn't be left behind. Because what um, electronic voting does is um, it simplifies the process of voting. It takes away human manipulation of uh, the system. No, no system is 100% perfect, mm -hmm. but at least it reduces to uh, a uh, manageable um, and acceptable you know, standard the interruption, uh, human interruption, and it is some, so, some element of accuracy. And um, it, 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 um, you can actually, within the confines of your of your house or your office, you can actually vote without necessarily going um, to queue and all the rest of them. If we take advantage of um, the digital space, I'm sure that uh, more participants will even come in because sometimes people don't like going out to vote yeah. because of the violence, the um, dimension of our politics and all the rest of them. And so therefore, if there is any scientific you know, um, improvement mm. that will allow people to vote and uh, also ensure that their vote also count, mm. it will encourage us. The honesty that there's so much, the world is changing rapidly and we cannot afford to be left behind. Uh, the argument of whether the level of our education and all the rest of them, the honest truth is that sir, if you sit down, if you bring stakeholders, if you bring the intelligentsia, you bring the academic community, you bring the stakeholders and you ask, everybody can adequately be catered for. Even in some advanced country, people vote through posts. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> in, 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 well, as they refer to them, advanced democracies. Yes. Now, I so, wonder if that's an operative phrase no, there. No, no, advanced yes. democracies. democracies. People, they, so you have various options that can cater virtually for everybody. Yeah, you know, you constantly find solutions to problems. Because that, that, electron, ele electronic voting doesn't mean that there won't be uh, physical booths. No, booths anymore. no, Those ones no, will still no, be no, there. No, no. Uh, what, 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 you know, Part of electronic, one of the key features of electronic voting is that, for example, this manual transmission of, um, of results from polling units yes. to the, uh, from the world level, uh, polling unit to the world level, from the world level to the local government, from the local government to the state, state to the, you know, it, it gives too much room for manipulation. Look at the last election, how many days it took us to collate results. Physically, we're watching. We are waiting for the returning officer or um, the, um, the, the resident electoral commissioner from Adamawa. The man brings a long, big exercise, I mean, a register, um, you know, spreadsheet all the way. You know, look at the hazards and all the rest of them. Ordinarily, the man doesn't need to leave his state capital. When at every vote, at every ward, at every polling unit, once the votes are counted and the stakeholders agree that this is the result. At that point in time, you make it public. It becomes very difficult for anybody to actually tamper with results at the state or at the national coalition center. Once that result is in the public domain. I, I wonder if, you know, this conversation, most people, if they were to remove 
politics out of it. That is their their aims, their aspirations, their modus operandi for politics. If we were to take all of that out of it, I think most people would agree that by and large it's a good thing. After all, we have we have debit cards now. You just stick your plastic card in a wall somewhere and um, transactions are done. You can take out physical money. I imagine that before the advent of all of that, people would have thought that, ah, oh, we're not ripe for it, which is what you hear uh, for the, from the dissenters, that there's nothing bad about electronic voting, but as they put it, we're not ripe for that yet, uh, so they say. Now, what you have said uh, about it, if we consider those some of the positives, um, are there any sort of negatives that can't just be wished away um, given the situation we find ourselves in. That is to say, anything, you can actually find some pros and some cons for it. Are there any cons to going along with this at the moment? The, 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 first, the first challenge we are going to encounter is the level of education. Okay. You know, you, you have mass, the, the predominant, predominantly are people, vast majority, they are still illiterate. Can they cope with the... Uh, because if you still go to ATM machine these days, you discover that one way or the other, some people will come to the ATM machine and request the security guard exactly. of the company to, to, to come and, assist, to come them. and <coughs> assist them. Okay, what do you want to do? Okay, mm -hmm. do like this. Okay, mm -hmm. press that one. Do like this and all the rest of them. And um, it exposes this, this vulnerability yes. at that level. That, because that, that because ignorance can that be exploited. Ignorance, it can be exploited. If, for example, you come to the polling booth and um, you do not know which of the emblems to vote for or whatever it is and you are seeking the assistance of probably any of the INEC officials who is biased towards a particular party and all the rest of them, you could just say, okay, mama, press that button. And the button could be for another party entirely that um, hmm. wasn't intended, hmm. that hmm. the woman didn't intend it. Well, so that would be something of an abuse of the system. Yes, uh, But yes. we always have abuses. No. And as you have just pointed out, in spite of those, the potentials for those exploitations, we still went ahead. <coughs> Humanity is in constant um, it's in transition in terms of development. We, are, we have not been static over the years, and we actually have not got to... There's no system, no sector, as of today, that is 100% perfect. Like I was discussing with um, my son the other day who said that he wants to be a pilot. I said, probably beyond being a pilot, try and help us find out how to ensure that when... Uh, a pilot uh, finds that his aircraft has a problem. Maybe we should have a parachute that could uh, parachute the <laughs> aircraft and let there be no crash landing. You know. So I was just joking with him. Yeah. I said, probably that's an assignment I'm giving you to do. Now, the honest truth is that somebody said in one of the books I read, he said, if the perfectionist, if we were to follow those who wanted everything to be perfect before we go ahead, maybe we, man, will still be on the floor today, not flying in the air. Because the first set of aircrafts that man manufactured, some of them as are today, if we had to place them side by side with the, with the, with the, with the digital um, aircraft we have today, I think one pilot one day said, he said that the aircraft we have today, they are toys, that they are not aircrafts, that they are toys. Because, because those they days, com yes, totally computerized. Said because those days, the, 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 the planes that they were flying were really machine. You will see the vibration. He said, but now, so what I'm trying to say is that there is no system that can be 100% perfect at inception, you keep fine-tuning. As you implement an idea, you meet bottlenecks, you go back to the drawing board to find solution. You do not say because the aircraft is not yet perfect, it still crashes. Therefore, we should, uh, I mean, man should still be riding donkey to mm -hmm. London today. Exactly, that is a exactly defeatist, you know, attitude. There's bound to be problem in every new idea, what it just need, what, what we require is that the implementers, those who implement these ideas, should really put on their thinking cap to say, as we experiment, let us be very proactive, that as we discover problem, we quickly go back to the drawing board, find solutions, so that sooner than later, in another probably four years, in another eight years, 12 years, 16 years, we would have perfected the system better. The but, honest, but we have one to of, start. Yes, the, and the government should say, look, if you are uh, digitalizing your electoral system, you need a sophisticated citizenry in terms of education. Mm -hmm. That means mm -hmm. you should also craft a policy to ensure whether primary school and secondary school education are free and compulsory. Just to bring everybody up to yes, the Yes, to where. at that minimum level where you don't need anybody to assist you to vote. 
and to be able to make options, I mean, choose, make decisions from the options available. Because one of the key features of, 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 of a democratic practice is that it throws up options. And you need to be a little bit educated and enlightened to be able to analyze and come to a point you can actually make your inform, informed decision. So that's, that's supposed to be part and parcel of the reform process. You want to digitalize, fine and good. Those people you want to make use of that system must be enlightened enough to know what they are doing. So education is key. Maybe it's, a, maybe it's simplistic of me, but I, I keep on, every time I come to consider this, maybe, as I said, maybe it's a bit simplistic, but I look at the complexity inherent in the um, ATM card, the debit card, credit card, the complexity involved in it, um, uh, but, but we still went ahead. And uh, 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 we went ahead with that. I wonder if it was because it was a commercial operation, and so they were pushing for it, the, the banks and all of that. Um, but we've never been able to translate it, for instance, into the national identity card uh, matter. We've never been able to borrow from that concept for censors. Uh, we've never been able to borrow for, for other applications. But here we are. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. As you observed, wobbling and fumbling in some cases, but largely the cards, not largely, the cards are here to stay. Nobody's going to say, uh, uh, well, there are too many challenges, there are too many problems, let's go back to the other place. But so, uh, uh, in fact, I, I just got notification, uh, sorry about that, I just got notification that our other guest is in the house. We take a break, so when we come back, you know, uh, Barista Ahmed Dada Abbas will be joined by uh, Barista Wahab Shitu. So, uh, one moment, please. We'll be right back. Okay, welcome back, and uh, good morning. If you're just joining us, we haven't gone too far, and we've been joined by <coughs> um, <coughs> Mr. <Wah> <coughs> Excuse me, Mr. Wahab Shitu. Uh, Mr. Wahab Shitu is a lawyer and a university lecturer. Thank you very much for coming on. And right next to him is his colleague, uh, Ahmed Dada Abbas. Mr. Abbas is a lawyer as well and a public affairs analyst. Thank you very much, uh, gentlemen, uh, for being here. Thank so you. we're looking at electronic voting. Uh, it seems like a good thing. Just, just thinking about it because it's about convenience and it's about accuracy and just limiting it to those two about convenience and increased uh, 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 accuracy. Um, I wonder what your, your thoughts are. Oh, by the way, uh, uh, Mr. George, uh, good morning to you, sir, and thank you for holding on all that while when we were on break, Mr. George said he would hold on. Thank you very much, sir. Please go ahead. Thank you, Uncle Yori, and good morning to everyone there. Good morning. Good morning. Uncle Yoru, you know, yesterday I hinted on this uh, idea of uh, electronic voting. That's right. That it is about time we go that way. By the way, I remember um, Governor Erupai, he used electronic voting in his last local government election. And the elections were acceptable to the people. He won majority of the local government, and the other party won some. And the state is going on. I don't know why we cannot try it at the INEC level. Okay. Because there's no system, like Mr. Abbas said, there's no system that is perfect. We just have to start it. Because the electronic voting will revolutionize our electoral system. The right people will come to power. This violence will be drastically reduced. Parties will learn to field credible candidates instead of imposing the ones that the governors or, or the president want. And the political uh, situation in the country will be sanitized. People will not be going into politics because they want to make money, because they know that people want somebody who can give them what they want, mm -hmm. not somebody who is coming to fill his pocket. Mm -hmm. It mm -hmm. will provide Nigerians in diaspora opportunity to have a say 
on who is governing their country. Uncle Ria, I can tell you, if we try it, the story about corruption, everything will, will be addressed. Okay. Well, thank you very much, Mr. George. Uh, thank you very much for um, yeah, that insight. And it, it gives me a beautiful plank to hand it over to Barista Wahab Shitu and say, give me your impressions uh, about that contribution, because those are all the things that I might have also said. Look, when you consider all of this, should anybody even be worried that we want to go into e-voting? Thank you, Uncle Yori. My own intervention will be, yes, we, if we are concerned about what is... That, uh, the state of our elections today in our country. Uh, elections, uh, the, uh, violence has become a major issue. You, uh, uh, all kinds of fraud and corrupt practices are alleged in certain quarters. And then you see ballot snatching, you <laughs> see double voting, and you see all kinds of you know, electoral practices and irregularities. Uh, people have said, and I am inclined to agree, that uh, the solution to this might be resort to electronic system of voting. But I think, but again, electronic system of uh, voting is not without its own challenges. And those challenges I want to focus on. Okay. It's attractive. Yes. Uh, in raising those challenges, I think uh, it is just for us to take it along, uh, the introduction of the device. Mm -hmm. one, one challenge that is, has been mentioned is the issue of possible compromise of the electronic uh, voting devices by viruses or other malicious software. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And secondly, manipulation by people who have a privileged access to the system. Okay. Okay. Yes. Now, in, also, in, in now, relation to those two main yes, planks, those yes. two important planks, um, I, I wonder, I, I apologize if I was sounding simplistic, that okay. didn't, wouldn't the first infection, corruption, wouldn't the first also affect um, b b b b debit cards? The second might be different, okay. uh, because um, even though the system still is manipulated, but that would be because of the carelessness of the card holder, as yes. we have seen, and yes. you know. Those same problems, in spite of the fact that debit cards are also cloud computer based, yes. you know, we're, we're, we're getting along fine. It's not 100% fine, yes. but, so, we're uh, uh, but, fine. But, but we need to mention some of these challenges oh, okay. Okay. as we go I, along. Okay. Because, it, this, because I, I would have given the, the state of one. our technology, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Given the state of, I mean, uh, the, 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 the state of our technology, we need to address some of these challenges. It is uh, because in electioneering process, mm. the objective is to deliver free, fair, peaceful yes. elections. Exactly. Free, fair, peaceful, and credible mm -hmm. elections. Four ingredients: yes. free, yes. fair, credible, and peaceful. And peaceful. So. All challenges that we derogate from the, the credibility of the process must be addressed. Indeed. And so it's not just enough for us, to, for us to say we need electronic voting. I'm in favor of it because it will reduce some of these, uh, you know, my practices you have mentioned mm. in terms of, you know, violence and some other things, mm -hmm. and then even voters' inducement and all of that. And then, yeah. But we need to also look at the challenges because when you are doing, when, when you are planning for something, you must look at. You must play, play the devil's advocate. Find out the merits and the demerits. And then it will assist your holistic planning. I hear you, Barista uh, Shitu, because um, when, when, when one looks at it, given the pensions that we have locally, it's unfortunate yes. that the immediately something is in the offing that would checkmate a negative aspect of our society that some are benefit, benefiting from. And then people go into overdrive in thinking about how to thwart the system yes. immediately. Yes. Because of the desperation we tend to have for politics, one, it's, it's probably not idle to imagine that there might be those who will be ready to invest in as much as necessary in hacking into the system. Yes. Get and the best hackers from wherever. Those so these are some of the fears. Yes, particularly those with previous privileged access to the system. Okay, this and this could be system developers. Yeah. Yes. System administrators. Okay. Uh, and then malicious hackers, like you mentioned. Yes. <laughs> so, the, so, 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 so the problem is to be on. Let, let, before, before I come to you, let, let me bring in. Uh, well, good morning, uh, Mr. Yakub in the in the Kwemu. Good morning, sir. Ah, did I lose you, Mr. Yakub? Um. Well, Yakub, if you can hear us, please just ring back and uh, as much as possible, even mid sentence, if it's me. I can't be rude to myself. I'll stop. 
one of the challenge of possible denial of service attacks, loss of service and all that. In the these are some of the problems associated with electronic voting. Voting, but 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 the the, the card reader that yes. we must use, that yes. we have to use, is also part of it. Yes. It's an aspect of it. Yes. It's not perfect, but yes. um, uh, I'm I'm just mentioning these things by way of looking for encouragement to to move out of the quote unquote stone age. And, and begin to come into modernity. <laughs> I mean, you also mentioned some of the cons. You were talking about the cons. How much of a worry is it that there will be people who will be working against this system because it will not no more be business as usual, where you determine who is going to win an election before we even go to the to to, to the polling station at all? For me, to be honest with you, having studied Nigeria very well. I'm not as Let me take Bob from just All right, sir. Uh, before I come back Thank to you. you good morning, Mr. Bob. Yeah, good morning, my brother, Uncle Yori. Good morning, sir. Thank you for calling. Yeah, morning. How are you? Very well, thank you. Uh, morning to your guest over there. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, well, in life, nothing that hasn't got advantage and disadvantage. The, the, the only thing is that if the advantage outweighs the disadvantage, I think it's better. So electronic voting, I think it's better we try it, it's high time we try it, to avoid, to avoid especially killing. When it comes to election, we are losing life. That is the area I'm so much concerned about. Losing life, you cannot replace life, but you can replace property. You can see what happened in uh, Koki. I'm not a Koki, a Koki man. You have told me that I'm a Nigerian. The issue of Nigerian concerns me, and I have to say it. You have told me, when, when you are saying the right thing, People, 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 people consider it as 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 as, 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 as you are talking politics. We should take politics away when we come to life. When we come to life, we should take politics away and face reality and condemn it in, in, in entirely. Life is not replaced. See that woman that was killed in, 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 in her bedroom. You are telling me, is, is, is that encouraging a woman to come out for politics again? Is that encouraging gender of the thing that we kept on talking about? <coughs> you are telling me, this is that time we should condemn killing in any in, 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 in any election. And I will even advise, if there is any killing in any election, that, that, that election should be cancelled totally. That okay. is, the election should be cancelled. Okay. You understand me? Okay. Well, what, what, what does it mean to, to, to be taking people's life, for God's sake? All what right. does it mean? Uh, all right, Bob. It's all right. Thank you for calling in, Bob. Stop it. Okay. Thank you very much, Bob. Passionate, angry Bob there. Uh, it costs us too much, the system we're carrying on now, uh, especially when you come to the ultimate price, life. Why? Uh, but I interrupted you. Yes. Like I was saying, sir. If the political will is there, the, the scientific um, system we are even borrowing, it's not as if we have the copyright. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. The world has become a global village. If you have any problem concerning the electoral system, sir, there are myriads of nations over the world that have been practicing and have been using the electoral voting They've perfected it over the system. If you have a headache and you don't have the Panadol, what's, what's wrong in calling for assistance? Stakeholders sitting down to say, take ownership of this process. If we have to invite nations that have practiced these things over the years, don't we, don't we have technical, sometimes we, we require technical assistance. When we're fighting Boko Haram, didn't we go to America? Do we have helicopters in Nigeria? Do we manufacture helicopters? Didn't we go to buy bombs and buy helicopters and weapons from U.S. and Britain and U.K. and Russia? The same problem, electoral system, we want to perfect, we want to make it easier, we want to make it more efficient. We don't have the technology. Oh, in case they are going to hack into it, there are people who are also specialists in preventing hackers from hacking into the system. So you see, if, if, that's why I said, you see the problem with Nigeria is when the will is not there and they are still trying to shade. Mm -hmm. The political players, if they are ready to open up the space for transparency, I can guarantee you, if you have 100 problems inherent in the, in, the, in the implementation of the system, there are solutions in supermarkets all over the world. There is nothing impossible for us. It's just the political will. Okay. Most times, it is until the political players are ready. Like somebody rightly said, and then Rufai came and said, look, let us digitalize our local government. Because most times what happens before, you can be sure when the state government conducts a local government, 
it's a winner takes all. Yeah. And it's a hundred PC. You can be sure if APC conducts local government election in a those states, if there are 30 local governments, it is APC that will win to 30 local government, as if there are no other parties. But if those who are the players, key players, are willing, transparent, and they are acting in good faith to say, look, let all stakeholders come and bring ideas on how we make this system to work. Okay. It will work. Okay. There's nothing rocket about that, sir. No, it's not rocket science. It's not rocket science at all. We shouldn't mystify anything at all. Okay, one moment, please. Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Ibrahim in Kogi, good morning, sir. Uh -huh. Morning, sir. Thank you for calling. Like, uh, in the suggestions of uh, electronic voting to be or not to be, so I'm trying to bring my suggestion that if Nigeria can go and conduct that electronic voting for us in the long run, that would be very, very good in Nigeria election. Because what happened in Kogi is so far now. It's a very ugly incident. You understand? Now they are coming out to tell you know, that they lost only three lives in Kogi State. Why? The numbers of people that lost their lives in Kogi State, they are, not, they are many uncountable. Even some people, my own personal brother, they, they, they shoot directly from the helicopter, they kill him. Now we are burying that guy. The other woman again in my village, who happened to be the woman leader, who was a uh, former councillor before, they burned her inside her house together. So what are we talking about? They are coming out to sensitize us that we should come out and retire our parasite. So the advice is to is for us to come outside and kill ourselves. For them to fight us and kill people to go. Okay. So I think that we should go on that electronic voting. All right. Then. Whatever thing that they want to do, they should do it. In that they are electronic voting, people on the street should not involved. Once you do your voting, nobody knows what you did. And everybody knows you yourself you know who is your candidate within yourself. Instead of us to go to the street and kill up for people to come and shoot at us and kill us. Sure. Thank sure. you. Thank you very much uh, uh, for calling in, uh, Mr. Brian. Um, coming back to you, Barista Wahab Shichu, uh, people seem to be, at least the few that have called in, say they seem to be saying that the way we conduct elections, it's concomitant, unfortunately, that there will be deaths as a direct result of that simple event of choose option A, choose option B, choose option C. Why should there be deaths? So people are basing that, that that price is too much and therefore we need to consider uh, uh, this. Uncle Yori, I must be very frank with you. I as a Nigerian... Sorry, sir. Yakub is back on. Uh, good morning, Mr. Yakub. Thank you for calling back in. Yeah, thank you, Mr. And uh, good morning to Mr. Waz and then Mr. Abbas. Okay. Thank you. Uh, it is very, for me, I think I totally agree with uh, Mr. Abbas. If Nigerian leaders can travel out of this country, go to outside the country, emulate some certain things that happen there positively, why can't they come back and start the same thing? See, it is very, electronic voting is the solution to this problem in terms of. Uh, insecurity when we are photo. Look at what just happened in the Kobe State. Yes, I'm a, I'm a sympathizer of uh, APC. I supported that party. I will continue to support them. But, typically, does it work because you want to govern a state? Does it, is it worth to killing people? So, if you go by electronic voting, it will be, yes, there is a demerit of electronic voting as well. But, let's look this as B, the advantages of it. If it is more than this manual thing that we are going on now, mm -hmm. I think we should be going and talking for it because if you are it, it comes to think of it. Look at that woman leader that I just killed. Natasha Apoti. I think that woman, the, the, the woman was crying before even the election. Look at what happened the day they were signing a, 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 a paper because they, want, they don't want a violence in that state. And then the, the day that the police hide in that state, they attacked that Natasha Apoti. The SDP, SDP candidate, the woman. So, nothing happened. If you, if you, if you can go by e I think I can sit down in my office comfortably and then I vote. Nobody will know who I voted for. Mm. If you, so, for me, our leader, the question we need to ask them is this. Is it because of we ordinary citizens, you are sending talk 
to go and kill these people. If you know that you are popular, why are you sending people to kill people? You okay. can say for us that what to do, you want to do that. You don't need to kill yourself. And then my message is all now this is that if you got yourself killing, these people that want to rule us, they are children, they are children, only but they are not within ourselves. All of them, they have already sent them outside the country, and then you get yourself killing. You have yourself to blame. Thank and God bless you. Thank you very much, uh, Yakub. Yes, I was reacting as I'm very sad as a Nigerian. Very, very sad. And I think every patriotic Nigerian ought to be sad because life has no duplicate. I asked myself, and this is directed to all the political, the political elite across political parties, they must fear God. I'm not talking, not APC, not PDP, all politicians, they must fear God. And they must know that if genuinely you want to serve, there's no need for you to waste lives. So I ask myself, what man of democracy are we practicing? What man of democracy? Since, since or, the loss of life or, is almost guaranteed. Yes. Almost First of all, we have to guaranteed. deal with the problem of cash and carry democracy, mm -hmm. which, we, which I think is alien. You know, vote buying, I mean, monetizing the process. But it has gotten beyond that level now. What we have in our country today, across all political parties, is democracy of AK-47. Which is, which is, which is, <laughs> which is false. The, I mean, the, yes, <laughs> I, 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 I like the juxtaposition, you know, so, that so, you're saying then, is, 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 democracy is not armed, it's not, it's not armed enforcement. Uh, and then, and, and all parties are agree, are guilty of this. Okay. Is it a degree that varies? One, all of them are involved in this. One moment, please. Uh, Mr. Lushola in Ikeja, good morning, sir. Good morning, sir. Okay. I, I really appreciate your program this month. Thank you. The truth of the matter is that our leaders know what to do. They know the right thing. If they want to do it, they can do it. And one thing I noticed about this country is that those people we voted for in the past and refused to do the right thing, they are part of us now in the air, in social media, complaining. Those people we have given the mandate again now that are in position of authority. Now, they know what to do. If they refuse to do it when they are in position now, they will still come out to come and join us and complain. And that's one thing that is true. Now, going by the e-voting system is the way out. Why should I go and kill myself? Why should I go and kill inside from because I want to vote? What takes me from sitting inside my room or inside my office or anywhere? I cast my vote from my phone. It can be done. It is possible. Our leaders are going to other countries and they are seeing what other countries are doing. Mm -hmm. Doing it here is just because they, because of political will, they, 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 they refuse to do it. Yes, the selfishness, their selfish interest, they refuse to, they refuse to do it. Okay. I hear everything. They will take over and start complaining. Uh, the social person, when you were there, what did you do? Now, the people in authority now, if they refuse to do it, one thing I'm quite sure, maximum is eight years, they will go and come out. They will come and join us and be complaining. <laughs> so they are in okay. position to determine whether this country will move forward or will remain where it is. All right, then. Uncle Yori, thank, thank you very much, sir. Uncle Yori, in Nigeria today, and this is not even peculiar, peculiar to this, for in recent times, life appears to be so cheap. We do not value lives. Well, this goes back to what uh, ah! what uh, Dada said about political will. Mm -hmm. How sincere are the political elites yes. on this issue? issue of because lives. if the political will is there, I think the implication where, where people are implying that it can be done in a jiffy. You, you see, I will emphasize that we should, the, the citizens should not um, develop headache over the problem. There is no problem. I will say it 1,000 <laughs> times over. No there insurmountable no, problem. There is no in, in, in any sector in Nigeria you have brilliant people that will give you on their fingertip mm -hmm. scientific solution, homegrown, well thought out, globally compliant solution. Sometimes it's a, it's a mockery of our intelligence as a people. Sometimes when we say we have a problem, there is no problem. Even in the legal terrain today, if you bring our legal juggernauts to sit down and give you 21st century laws that will make this society to move scientifically, they will give you. But they won't give those people the opportunity. There mm. is no problem, sir, that does not have solution. Mm. Brilliant people all over Nigeria, 
that can give you well thought out, homegrown, globally compliant ideas. But the honest truth is that the political structure today is one of the greatest challenges we have. And like Indeed. I told you, if they are sincere, they know where to get the solution. If they create the enabling environment, yeah. people will show up with brilliant ideas on how to solve the problem. Because, uh, and part of this is also, by the to maybe that uh, people see that, look, classic democracy, one man, one vote. Uh, the problem has been how to deliver that. This uh, concept uh, clearly would deliver that, but would it dispossess some political players, some giants? People keep on complaining about um, a lack of internal democracy in, 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 in within parties. All of these, so I, I, no, I no, no, there's no doubt that electric, electronic vo voting, if properly managed and properly funded and properly supervised and monitored, is the way out. There's no doubt in it. But we see, in spite of all the challenges, and like my little friend has also mentioned. There are, there are icebergs across the world yes. who have developed this kind of technology and it's working. So why can't we borrow? Why, why, why? I mean, why can't we, we invite? We, but we're, again, we're, we're buying to, military hardware uh, because but, but, we, we... But I want we, to say, because the cost of this manual system of voting <laughs> is too much, particularly in the high wave of deployment of violence. For instance, if I, if I want to serve, what should I do? I, I don't want, don't give me the president of the country. Don't give me any position if it will involve loss of lives. I don't want it. Uh, I don't want to soil my hands with the it, blood it, with, 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 with human blood. So yes. this, this is where we, want, we need to know, are the political elite uh, about to um, empower this whole, this, this whole movement? Because it's, it, everything depends on them. Now, Emmanuel in Otupo, good morning, sir. Good morning, Chief Yuri. Good morning, sir. Thank you for calling in. Good morning to your guests. Indeed. Good morning. Wahab and uh, Shitu. <laughs> ah, no, no, no. <laughs> this is Wahab Shitu. You see? Shitu Wahab. Wahab Shitu. I have five names today. Yes, sir. Eh? Ahmed, Dada, Abbas, Ahmed, Wahab, Dada, Shitu. And, uh, Wahab. So, sometimes the... <laughs> Ahmed, Ahmed, Dada, and Wahab Shitu. Okay. <laughs> I greet you. Thank okay. you. Yes. Uh, Chief Yuri. Yes, sir. We have been in this game for over 20 years now doing the analog system. And the story has been the same. Solo tears and blood. Hmm. And you remember, one of our leaders was said to have called for war when he said politics is a do or die affair. <laughs> we must get that out of our mind. Okay. And then look in the direction of uh, this uh, e-voting. E-voting is possible. It is not perfect. It will not be perfect at the starting point, but we will get around it. And we will take control of all the votes. Indeed. With no. subsequent elections. So I think that's the way to go. To Thank stop all these killings. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. Again, we must appreciate that we have some semblance of e-voting already introduced into the system. Okay. Introduction of this smart carry, that, that's electronic voting. This is, I was saying it's a part of it. It's part of it. Yes. And it is working. It is. <laughs> you know what transpired in the last election, mm -hmm. to me, is actually a mockery of the entire system. Because INEC initially said they have a server, they voted for a server. At the end of the day, they told us there was no server yeah. and all the rest of them. Look. If at the polling unit, sir, if simple electronic voting, if at the polling unit, you count the vote, APC was there, PDP was there, Alliance for Democracy was there, and all the rest of them, and they count the vote, oh, PDP won, APC won, Alliance for Democracy won, and everybody is aware. There are journalists there, civil society organizations are there, and at that point, you send that result straight to the server, mm -hmm. your central server in Abuja. Mm -hmm. There is no way you can compromise the result from that polling unit. Okay. Because it's already in the public domain. Civil, uh, civil society organizations, both national and international, we're, we're going to be part of that result emanating from that particular word. There is no way you will so say... So it's just that we have to be committed to transparency. It, it, see, we need the, to be transparent. Sir, can I tell you, any time you see too much of human intervention in any process or procedure, you are leaving room for manipulation. No, the reason is simple. Very simple. Rig rigging has become part of our culture. Yes. Unfortunately. Now, Unfortunately. Paul, uh, Paul in Lekki. <laughs> good morning, sir. 
Yeah, good morning. Thank you for calling in. Go ahead, please. Uh, I wish to contribute to the program to uh, electronic voting to be or not to be. Please go ahead. Yeah, I. If we look at the recent uh, Big Brother Niger, over 50 million Nigerians voted. Okay. That was electronic. And uh, elsewhere uh, in the global north, that electronic voting is done. A lot of people vote at home at convenience. If you look at the analog system we do in Nigeria here, mm. less than 30 million people vote. A lot of people are disenfranchised. Now, I, I, I don't see it as, as, as a mistake. I don't see it as lack of knowledge. I rather see it as a deliberate, you know, a deliberate policy or a deliberate act by leaders to make sure that we are disenfranchised, to make sure that they rig elections and, you know, cause men him around. So I, I wish to suggest, and I, I, I agree in totality, that we should implement electronic voting. This will serve as the opportunity to come out in mass and vote so that each and every Nigerian will have the opportunity to participate, mm. to choose leaders of our choice, mm. and then we'll hold these people accountable. Mm. Our problem is leadership. Thank you our very much. Our problem is leadership. Thank you, Paul. Thank you, Paul, for calling in. And now, increasingly, when, when you look at this, it, it, it begins to look that, like the political elite, the leader, political leadership itself, those are the people that we have to, if we could, interrogate and say, are you going to support this? Are, are, are you committed to this? Let's all agree. Because it's not the citizen, it's not the citizen or Joe, Joe blogs that, that, that compromises the system. It's, it's the leadership. It's the leaders. It's the political godfathers who have an idea how, of how they want it to go and will do all that is necessary. I agree with you that the problem has to do with the conspiracy of the political elite. Mm. Political elite, they are the people contesting elections. They are the people mobilizing resources for yes. the conduct of elections. They are the people mobilizing followership. And the followers look at the body language of the leaders, of the political elite. So if, if, if you encourage agree and violence, as a, and you deploy that as a national, as a deliberate strategy, your, your followers take the hint. But I'm saying that this political elite must fear God. If they, if, if they want to send out talks, let those talks be led by their children. Their own children. To take the center stage. Which is never going if, to if, 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 never. if the life of your own child is precious to you, why don't you want to waste the life of another exactly. man's child? In fact, the whole idea of hiring thugs is another I think we need a total a, orientation. Yes. Total orientation. Yes. For the political elite to appreciate the fact that they are followers. I mean, they are servants of the people. Aha. Now that's and, the big one. No, that's servants the real of the people. big one. And that the public office they hold or they aspire to hold, is a public trust. They are holding on, on behalf of the, of the people. Sovereignty lies with the people. So, and I think we need to change this orientation. Unfortunately, the political elite are taking advantage of the massive poverty of our people. To hold our people hostage. Perpetually. And it must stop. And that is the advocacy that the rank and file must be ahead. Because, because Nigeria belongs to all of us. Indeed. So, look, Ahmed, as, as, in, as Wahab said, um, it, it's, it's, the, it's the elite, the political elite, elite itself. That's what most people would think, because those are the people that, that want to, if they can, teleguide how things work out. So how do we get all of the leadership, all of them, to come together and agree? When he was saying, fair God, fair God, fair, I, I, I'm imagining that he's saying that, be transparent, be fair, be true. Yes. Be true. Let everybody see your works. Yes. But you, you see, the, you, in, this, in, the, in the electronic voting, uh, opening up the electoral system, transparency and all the rest of it, there are two schools <coughs> of thought. A man who did not emerge or get into political office through a transparent process, process will never mm -hmm. be in support <coughs> of opening up the political space. Yes. This, is, this is where we are. Are you getting my point? This is where we are. The, the, so, until we are able to go back to, you know, electioneering within the parties and, and ensure 
that the process is so transparent until people have emerged through transparent means. They can never be advocate of a transparent electoral system. But this will be, this will be equi with the equivalent, unintended perhaps equivalent, maybe even intended, of um, disempowering, quote unquote, godfathers. Yes, up and down the line. yes. Mm. You know, that was why... The, the years of God. Yes, yes. yes. Now, be... whether the, quote unquote, godfathers up and yeah. down the land are therefore going to throw in their lot with this no, device. No, no. That, that was why I supported the, the direct primaries that APC was trying to um, implement the other time. Uh -huh. To say, look, I mean, nobody is going to sit in one corner and say somebody is an anointed candidate. Everybody go to the grassroots, let all the party members, registered party members, let them vote. So you now know that uh, if even if you pocket a godfather mm -hmm. because you give the godfather money, he cannot control maybe about two, three million of your voters in the, in the state at the same. So until we find a way to ensure that godfatherism is nipped in the board. Well, again, we have to go uh -huh. to the foundation. Uh, let, let me quickly bring in Mary. Mary has called in from Lokoja. Good morning, Mary. Oh, I would have loved to hear what Mary had to say. He was calling in from local jail. Uh, See if you can get us again. Uncle Yori, let's go back to the foundation. Okay. In looking at the solution to this problem, my own solution, my own, my own, my own thought is that the solution is education, education, okay. education. Okay. You see, and when we are talking of education, we are mm -hmm. not talking of just qualification or going to mm -hmm. We are talking of political education. Even political education. Yes. I mean, no, I mean, and public we, sensitization. We, the budget, yes. we have to structure our budget to emphasize more. Uh -huh. In fact, they should uh -huh. use 50% of their budget. Uh -huh. For, for education. Okay. Okay. Look at UK. Look at UK. Can I tell you? UK you? does not have all these resources we are talking about. Sir. But they have the advantage of education. Yeah. It is this education that they are using. They are just exporting human capital. And it is this education that we lack. And it is this lack of education that the elites elites are, are depending on. Yes! Mm. Because why should why, why That's would you, do, why do you want to, if I, why you let anybody want to come and give me can, money can I tell to, you the to, only, vote, to vote for? Sir, I, 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 went, I went to the campaign train some times ago and I was educating some people. I told them, I said, in case you are not aware, the man that gives you money to vote for him is also, I'm using a very, I told, I told I said, he's sick psychologically. And you are also collecting the money mm -hmm. to vote for that person. You are also seek without <laughs> Yeah, money. but unfortunately, because of hunger, yes. they don't see it I, I, like that. Yes, they said, think they're being smart. I said, when somebody is coming to serve you and is bribing you ahead of time, it's like a, you, are, you want to employ the service of a house girl. Yes. And the house girl is borrowing money to bribe you, to employ you. I said, you should know that your trinket and your... <laughs> your no, no, it borders. It doesn't you know, border. It raises another issue. It borders on accessibility after the capture of power. Okay, okay. It okay. is during the elections that these uh, people have the opportunity mm -hmm. to That's, interface yes. with these people. After that. After that. Access the, is the virtually access shut off. Shut up. Mazi Okorafo. Mazi Okorafo in Arutuku. Good morning, sir. <laughs> Good morning, sir. You're a group of our guests in the studio. Good morning. <laughs> Mazi. Oh. <laughs> Are you there? No. Yeah, no, sir. Okay, okay. That electoralism is good for us. <laughs> but there are five major factors that is affecting this country that is making it to be shaken. One, poverty. Two, hunger. Three, illiteracy. Four, depression. Five, frustration. What was four? What was four? Four was depression. Depression. Five, depression. Then the five is frustration. And okay. you see that <laughs> when you see some Nigerians, you see frustration are written on their faces. No, you okay. didn't you mention they, disease. They the disease. <laughs> <laughs> but it's like she to include a disease. <laughs> <laughs> now, when you look at these five factors, you now ask yourself, Nigerians, are we even to migrate? Hmm. When we talk about migration, we're talking about to meet up the, the 20th, the 20th uh, first, the century. But some people are need to, to draw us backwards. So that is why some of these Now, if you go to this electoral system, all this issue of uh, you snatch the electoral uh, bus and run away, you carry go, all these things will be eaten up. At the end of the day, you stay. You can even we should do anything that uh, you stay in your house and vote. You don't need to go to the uh, polling booth. After all, this is your OP payment in terms of transport. You stay there and do your uh, car, 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 car. They will come to your place and carry you, take it away, but that everything that will be great. At least we are migrating in terms of transportation system. Without that. Now, what happened to the voting system? Because we sit down now and we make a lot of good policies, but our problem is implementation. 
Well, the earlier we move forward, the earlier because uh, all this issue of fighting, fighting, we not uh, anybody that fails, fails, you win, fine. Just think of 2023. Although some people they say it's too early. Thank you very much. Have a blessed day in Lagos. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yes. yes. It's, 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 the bottom line he has said it is that until you raise the level of education yes. of the citizenry. Yes. Yes. Any policy yes. implement so that they can tell the nonsense. But when people are enlightened, when people are educated, and you are trying to play pranks and all the rest of them, they simply make informed decision, and that is just what this country needs. That's all. Education, so, so, so. education. The other education. issue, the other closely related to that, is the pervasiveness of impunity. Mm. Uh -huh, uh -huh. We don't have electoral it's part offenses. Of it. Yes. Tribunal. It's, yes. To deal with those who violate the electoral it's, process. It's part of the same attitude of complicity of the sir, political sir, yeah, elite. Sir, but you know the challenge, the challenge I we, have. We with, time, the, the, the challenge I have with electoral offense or whatever mm, offense. Mm. There is no offense being committed today, as of today, that we do not have relevant laws. Yes. To com violence is violence. Yeah, but the people said I, application. We have the no, law. That's what I'm saying. So, so the, is the, problem. Pro the, pro the problem is not creating more more laws or creating more institutions and all the rest of them. It is just the weakness of the present existing institutions. The, the police, the, we left the police because we felt the police were not competent. We set up the EFCC. <laughs> Has it solved the problem of corruption? We left the EFCC. We set no, up the EFCC. is working. So, so, no, <laughs> no, don't go there. No, no, EFCC is working. As, as, as an EFCC, EFCC lawyer. EFCC, no, as an EFCC, 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 EFCC lawyer. My boo is working. I'm not saying. My boo is working. No, wait. wait, wait, wait what I'm trying to say. You see politics no, again? No, <laughs> politics has been done. No, because my boo is working. What I'm trying to say in essence is that when we have headache, we don't need to create hospital for headache. When we have leg pain, you create hospital for leg pain. Oh, okay. When you have stomach pain, you create a hospital okay. for stomach oh, okay. pain. Okay. Let the institutions as today, let them work. And the, pro the, the producers are pulling their yeah. hair out. They say we've got to go now. Uh, but I want to thank you both gentlemen, uh, Mr. Ahmed Dada, uh, Mr. Ahmed Dada Baz and Mr. Wahab Shitu. Thank you very much, oh, you know, for coming on and airing your views. You. And also thank you for calling in and expressing yours as well. Um, that's our program today. Please join me tomorrow for a fresh edition. I am Iori Fularin. Bye-bye for now.